and I'll say that again while I record. Hey everybody, it's hey Kim Danky. Kim Danky. Oops, coming to you. Hey everybody, it's Kim Danky coming to you live from the Shibola Studios in Kennesaw, Georgia, and I hope y'all are having a great night. It is Friday night, July 24th, TGIF. I love getting to a Friday night. I don't know about you, but I do. I love getting to a Friday night. Um, but I'm coming on here because I would like to talk with you about the value of Shibboleth. Now, there's a lot of noise out there in the world today with people trying to get you to buy their product or listen to them in their way of doing those, uh, whatever it is they're doing. There's a lot of noise out there and we can get very, very distracted and we can get drawn in. And so the first thing that I'm gonna ask that you do is I'm going to ask that you pray for discernment. Right now, you're hearing my voice, I'm asking that you pray for discernment in that if you, if you are not a current member of Shibboleth, and you are needing something or think you might want something in the future of a health education or a, a weight loss and wellness program, uh, ask for the Lord right now for some discernment to see if what I'm saying is true and honest and it's something that you'd wanna be a part of uh, now or in the future. So, um, so I, I do hope that, that that comes out of what you're thinking. But I wanted to come in here tonight and I wanted to talk to you about the value of Shibboleth, okay? So I am, and never have been, a dieter. It's just not something that I've ever wanted to do. I have never wanted to go on a diet. Now, I'm gonna explain that to you because you might be thinking, well, she wanted to lose weight, right? So you got a diet to lose weight. So that is something that I wanted you to know is that I'm not a dieter. So you are listening to this broadcast from a non-dieter, a non-dieter. And I'm going to show you that I'm a non-dieter, okay? Now, this one is funny because it says you on a diet, okay? So... I was watching Oprah one day. It was on October 31st in 2006, 2006, and Dr. Oz, Mehmet Oz was on there, okay? And what he was saying was really interesting. He said that there's some ingredients that you should look at on ingredient labels and you should not eat them. Guess what I was sitting there doing? I was sitting there eating a bag of peanut M&Ms because I do like some peanut M&Ms. Um, but I was sitting there eating some peanut M&Ms and everything that he was saying sounded very good. So I went out, I bought his book. I bought his book. This book's $23. So I bought this book and it says you on a diet, but he was talking about the fact that you don't really have to diet. It's really being more healthy. And I am an educator. So I, I have a master's degree in education. I've, I've been an educator at heart. From five years old, I've always been educating somebody on something. I know my family's tired of it, but I am. And so I just took the book cover off. But if you look at this book, I don't just read something. If you look through there, you might not be able to see it, but you can kind of see. See those are dog-eared pages. All those pages are dog-eared because I have read all the way through this book with a fine-tooth comb. Well, I read through this book, and... I thought it makes sense. I'm gonna start reading. I'm gonna start reading labels because I'm a healthy person and I want to do what's right for my health. And so uh, I lost between November first because I'm I'm not one of these people that are slow. I mean, if I'm gonna start something, I'm gonna do it. So November first, I started reading labels, and um, because of what he said the day before on Oprah, and it's really not that hard because he was saying there's five things you should stay away from. So I started reading those labels, but I read that and it was really good, good book. And um, about by, by December 15th of that year, I lost 15 pounds. What cool, that is awesome, that is awesome. So, you know, I, I felt great, I felt better, and I managed to keep that off for a while, you know, continuing to read my labels and everything. But then, you know, as things do, you, you tend to start forgetting about uh, your, your plans. 
all right? So, but I really am very, very interested in health, all right? So I, and, and, I, and I'm a Christian, so um, I'm interested in what God would say. So this is The Maker's Diet by Jordan Rubin. And I think this one was $20, okay? So I've read that book. And if you'll look, if you can see, look at that. Look at those dog-eared pages. Okay, so those are dog-eared pages. And those, um, that information in the back, it's not dog-eared. Those are recipes, so I didn't need to dog-ear those. So I read that book, and it was great. And it was very helpful and interesting. And I, I believe what it said, um, because I don't think he's lying in there. I think Jordan Rubin's a smart man. Um, and he's put a lot, but it, did it help me lose weight? No, no, it didn't. Um, and then I bought, I bought The Great Physician, The Great Physician's Health and Wellness by Jordan Rubin. So I read that, or maybe I didn't read it. Maybe I didn't, there's no dog ears, so I probably didn't. Um, and then I've got The Great Physician, oh, and then if I didn't read it, that was a waste of money. Then I've got The Great Physician for Women's Health. So not just health in general, women's health. And then I've got Living Green uh, by Greg Horn with a foreword by Jordan Rubin. I still like him. I like his, I like his Garden of Life products. But, um, and then I've got Dr. McCullough's Total Health. Okay. And then, because I love Jesus and I'm interested, I got What Would Jesus Eat? You know, I've got all of these books here. And then just one more thing to show that to you that I am not a dieter. It's more of a health thing for me. Um, the Natural Ingredients Dictionary, so that I can make sure I'm not putting anything on my body that is not good for my body. So I just kind of added up just that, okay, just that. That's $146 just right there. And I have another book that I must have thrown away. It was dog-eared and it was sticky noted and everything. And I read that book one year and I lost 40 pounds after, um, you know, putting that into play, but it's restrictive and I couldn't keep it up. And, um, and over a course of two years, I, I put that back on. So, um, but thankfully, thankfully it was slow. It was a slow putting it back on, but I did. And so, and also I'm gonna show you, this is how long I've been interested in health and being healthy, okay? This is how long. What is this? What is this? This is a VHS tape. It's buns of steel, buns of steel. This is how long I have been trying to take care of myself. Long time. Um, and I still will do that. I have, I literally have a one TV that will play a VHS tape and I have put it in in the past year. I have put it in in the past year. It's not like I'm going up to it every night, but I have put it in for the past year. So, so I'm just talking to you from the standpoint of a person who's not a dieter, a person who is interested in my, my personal health um, and then knowing that if I have good health, then I can hopefully help other people around me have good health. So, so you can see that I've always been on a search for what is the right thing. What is the right thing? What is going to help me be healthy? But I also truly believe that the Lord has never led me, never led me to any type of, uh, he's never led me to Weight Watchers. Uh, he never led me to uh, Quick Weight Loss Centers. Uh, he's never led me to any of those places. And I'm very thankful the Lord has been always so good to me. Um, and so, but he led me to Shibboleth. Okay. He led me to Shibboleth and uh, I got on the scale one morning. I weighed 185.5 and my highest weight ever, not pregnant, was 186. And I thought, you got half a pound to turn this around. Um, and so I had seen my friend posting on Facebook about what she was doing, but at the time I wasn't interested. And so, um, I, but I went back to her Facebook page. And those of you that share face, share Shibboleth on Facebook, thank you for doing that because it helps your friends in the future when they are ready. But I went back to that Facebook page and I looked it up and I called her. I called my friend, Janet, Janet Gridley. I called her. I said, Hey, what are you doing? She said, I've lost 80 pounds in six months doing Shibboleth. 
Well, she quickly explained to me what it was, and I just felt it right away that it was a real thing. And, and then I scoured their website. I clicked on every button. I clicked on every tab. I read every document. I played with the Are You Ready quiz. I played with everything. And then they have near me, they have a store. And most people do this online, okay? This is an online program. But they happen to have a store near me. So I went up there. I liked what I saw. I joined. Well, just like I have devoured these books, I devoured all of Travis's daily doses while I was on vacation and a work trip at night. I would watch the daily doses. So I learned it. And you know what makes, you know what's so great about it? I learned it. It's easy to apply. And so I was able to start applying that um, about a week after I signed up just because I was gone on those two trips. And what I'm so thankful for is that Travis, he's probably, I mean, he's a studier just like me. Like if I just showed you these books, he's done way more than me, way more than me. But anyway, he's taken all of the important things that he has learned over the years and he's put it into a sustainable, practical lifestyle, not a diet. I needed concrete things to do to have success. And that is exactly what Shibboleth is. It is, they give you just the concrete uh, ways that if you do these things, you will not fail. And we've never had anybody tell us, hey, this does not work for me. Because it works for everybody. It works for young people, it works for older people, it works for men, it works for women, it works for uh, menopausal people, it works for everybody, okay? And that's what I'm really thankful for. So what it is, is it's science. It's the science of eating combined with self-discipline. The science of eating combined with self-discipline. So for me, what it created was an extremely balanced lifestyle. And so, you know, I read these books and I, I tried to apply those the, the concepts in those books and everything. But when I wasn't applying those, I was like, wait a second, how many times can I go to Freddy's fast food restaurant this week with my friends? Because I like Freddy's fast food restaurant. Um, so in fact, I went there today and had a perfect meal because I know how to order there now. Now I do have to use self-discipline certain days and then I'll go to Freddy's on other days and I'll have French fries, sweet tea and custard along with my, my lettuce wrap burger. I never did do buns before, so it doesn't. That wasn't a change. But see, that's the thing about this lifestyle is that I don't have to give up those things that I enjoy. I just live a more reasonable life, a more reasonable life. So I just want everybody to come along with me and enjoy this lifestyle. So the value of Shibboleth is, well, really, you cannot put a value. You cannot put a monetary value on a healthy, happy life. Where you feel better you, you just can't put a mon monetary value on that but if you are sick due to obesity and things like that then you're costing yourself a lot of money so thankfully i don't have any of those things i don't have receipts i could pull out and add that up for you i, I don't and i'm thankful to the lord that i don't okay but there's some of you that could so when you grab those receipts and look that up how much could you have saved over the years? Also, I don't eat nearly as much food anymore because I choose to and I know what works now. And so I'm saving money that way. So there is a great value in that. But just the fact that I spent 146 and like that, I, that recent book that I must have thrown away um, once I found out that Shavolith was so awesome. I had to go pull those off the, uh, the shelf and the drawer. But that's 146 right there. To be a member of Shibboleth, if you wanted to be a member for just a month, just a month to see what we're all about, just test us out for a month. It is $9.95 for a month. If you want, it, it, that will continue. And if you don't want to do that anymore, you just cancel. Okay, it's just a membership. It's just a membership. It's a membership to a continuing education program that will provide you all of the 
previous webinars that have been done, all of the future webinars that are going to get done, and everything else that they do to improve their the, the lifestyle, the program, the website. $9.95 a month. But it's really not your best value because 10 times 12 is $120. Okay. So that'd be for a year if you let it go for a year. But if you join as a annual member, you could be a silver level membership for $60. $60. Well, that's half of that 120. That makes much more sense. Much more sense. But if you wanted to become a lifetime member and really never need to pay again, it's $149. And you are a member for life. So if you did two years, that's a hundred and uh, no, it's uh, yeah, that's $120. Well, $150, $30 more, and you're a member for life. So even if you forget about us for a season, you could come right back. Now, not that I want you to forget about us for a season because it's painful to get back where you were after you've had success, but if you did that, we'd still be there. We would be there for you. So there is also a lifetime membership. And I really think that's your best value because it doesn't just give you the silver level membership. It gives you silver where we teach you the basic program. It gives you gold membership where you also learn intermittent fasting and all about divine days. So guess what? This book right here, Mercola's Total Health, Living Green, all of that. That's our divine days, okay? So that right there is uh, our divine days. Then if you have the Tiger's Eye, which is the lifetime membership, the Tiger's Eye lifetime membership, you get access to Travis and his advanced lessons, his advanced lessons. And all along the way, you've got different challenges that you could participate in. Those are not mandatory. They're just fun and they do help you. Uh, exercise that self-discipline muscle and give you some camaraderie with other people. Um, so I want us to think about one other thing and then I'm going to hop off of here because I don't want to keep you all night. But let's look back at this. This is Buns of Steel. Okay, Y'all give me some hearts on Facebook if you remember Buns of Steel. And this is the original Buns of Steel, not the remake. This is the original. I am like, this is my tape here. But I might have to put it in tonight and do it just for the fun of it. But exercise is important. But here's the funny thing. You don't have to exercise to lose the weight that you need to lose. Because we can teach you how to have exercise on a plate. Exercise on a plate is easier to have, especially if in the beginning you've got a lot of weight to lose and it might not be comfortable to move around. We can teach you. We can help you with that. Okay. so. I'm a member at Planet Fitness. I am not a member who goes to Planet Fitness regularly. And I'm even the black card member because if I do go to Planet Fitness, it's because I go into this machine that uh, dries my hair. I know that's silly, but it's a life hack that I have figured out. And I pay $240 a year to be a member of Planet Fitness. I have not been to Planet Fitness to exercise in a year and a half but I pay that money, that's $240, okay? So if we count those books, plus whatever I don't remember spending, if I don't even have those books, that's easily $146, not including the ones I can't remember. Then $240 a year to Planet Fitness. Guess how long I've been a member at Planet Fitness? About 10 years. And that's about $2,400. And it never has helped me lose weight. Not one pound, not one pound. Because when I was up there, I was thinking I could exercise it off. You can't. You can. Exercise helps. It will help you tone up. It'll help you stay healthy and looking great and everything. But it's the nutrition part that's really, really important. Okay. So, and I still pay. I still pay to go to Planet Fitness. Do you know why? Because I might want to go up there. And I don't want to have to rejoin. I might want to go. So, my point with this tonight is... If you need something, if you need an exercise, I mean, an, a nutrition, a nutrition education, this is it. This is it. Okay. And all those books that I've read previously, guess what? All that information 
can pretty much be applied to shibboleth. It can, because we're gonna teach you everything. Everything that works for weight loss, we're gonna teach you those things. And then if something that you've read or before, like you don't understand, you ask the question and we will explain whether or not why that won't work. Because see, nutrition is situational, situational. So these people who wrote these books may not know the situation that you're in, but Shibboleth will help you figure out the situation that you're in nutritionally and we will help you figure out what you need to do. And so really, I just want you, let y'all start asking some questions. If you do, I'm gonna check Facebook in just a second. I want you to know that this is science and self-discipline combined together in a practical, sustainable, and fun lifestyle. You never have to buy any products from Shibboleth. Everything that you need comes from the local grocery store. What your membership is for, it's for the education. It's for the education that you're gonna get. It's for the support that you're gonna get. It's for the awesome website and the tools that you're gonna get to help you stay successful. That's what the membership is for. So it makes sense to me. It's easy, I promise. I thought it was gonna be hard. I dropped 50 pounds in five months and I've been maintaining that now for about 10 months. Now, not every day is easy because there are some days that you wanna, um, eat something that's not on the plan just because our bodies change, our minds change, life happens, but there's grace built into this program. We teach you all about the grace that is available in, in Shibboleth. It's really about doing the right thing 80% of the time. And you can have great success in the losing weight and then maintaining your, uh, your weight. But what I really wish is that I'd known this way back when I had kids, I really wish I could go re-raise my children because I am, I have more energy now than I had when I was uh, raising them. I feel better and I wish that I could teach them what I know now in a way that would be fun for them. But they're pretty much out of the house now. One's married and one's gonna be a senior this year. And so, so yeah, I wish I'd found out about this a long time ago, but the Lord gives us the things when he's ready. And I'm very thankful that he's given it to me. So I'm gonna look up here on Facebook and see if anybody, if y'all have any questions. I got Pat Carl, Pat Johnson on here saying that hands down the best support ever. And uh, yeah, I will not be videoing my buns of steel. Now, you know what I have to do for buns of steel, Pat, is I never have enjoyed the music or what he's saying. So I don't really need to have the music or what he's saying on there. Cause obviously you can see it and do it. And so I've always put my own jamming music on to buns of steel. Um, but let's see what else has been said. Oops. I'm just going to get my iPad and see. So thank you to those of you that have joined me tonight on a Friday night. And you know why I'm here on doing this on a Friday night? Because I love it. I love it. You know, it's, it's a focus. Um, it's a focus that has just brought a wonderful uh, newness and inspiration to my life. And I'm very thankful. Hey, Ron Norman, you're doing great. I'm so proud of you. He did. Uh, oh, by the way, I was talking about talking about Ron. He did my new member fast track class. I teach a new member fast track class every single Sunday night and Monday night. And then I have a pre-recorded video that comes out Monday through Saturday to teach you guys the program. Um, awesome, awesome Deanda. I'm glad that you are better. That is good. I have missed you on Facebook and other things. And yeah, Pat is saying that the fast track classes and daily doses are imperative. They all, they really do help you understand the program. And Thank you, Brenda. I appreciate that. Thank you. And Pat says, join, learn, and follow equals weight loss. So y'all have been awesome. And then Mary Ann, Mary Ann from Canada says, I've tried many different weight loss programs in the past and Shibboleth is the best, the best. Thank you, Pat, for your sweet compliment. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you, Cindy. Thank you. And Cindy says that uh, my spirit inspires us to y'all to do your best. So I do have a little uh, shibby show in the mornings and I try to kind of focus us each day on what we need to accomplish, but living real life together. Cause y'all seen that this week I was 
for struggling on Wednesday because I don't know why. But see, that's the thing. I don't care if I know why or not I wanted to eat more. I went ahead and had a holiday. I had one more I could use. But I didn't have any issues yesterday or today. So every day is different. We can't just throw our hands up if we, uh, if we mess up one day. That's why we have grace built in to this lifestyle. So thank you, Michelle. Thank you. And Teresa says that uh, she's learned so much doing Shibboleth, tried other programs, but this one is so much better. And she enjoys that it's not just for the body, but for the spirit too. Yes, we are a biblically based program and we are totally focused on just improving the health and wellness of our temple, of our temple. And I want y'all to know that we have two modes on Shibboleth, weight loss and maintenance. Weight loss is not meant to be, be your mode forever. Weight loss is like lock it in and rip off the knob and let's get this baby done. And then you live in maintenance for the rest of your life. Okay. So thank you for allowing me to come on here tonight. I am going to go ahead and hop off and let y'all enjoy this. Oh, Michelle, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it very much. Okay. Well, I'm going to hop off. Please tell your friends about Shibboleth. And if you are not a member of Shibboleth, I am going to put a link in the comments below that you can uh, sign up with. And if you sign up, please message me personally and tell me that you signed up because of this video. I want to make sure that we get you started in the right way. All right. Y'all have a great day, a happy weekend, and we hope that you join us in this awesome lifestyle. Bye, everybody.